Line squaring is beneficial in FLL as it is a reliable and consistent way to accurately align your robot perpendicularly to a line. Also, just as a side note, your color sensors must be in front and parallel to your front wheels for this program to function. Okay, so now I'm going to walk you through how to create the program and I'm going to show you how it works. Step 1, we need a loop block and the exit case can stay on unlimited. Now in the loop, we need two switch blocks set to reflected line intensity and make sure that the two switch blocks are set to two different color sensors. Searching for the black line, whatever light intensity that is for you. For me, you can see that anything less than 10 on both sensors uh, is the color black. We will also need a steering block set to on, and finally two my blocks I will explain further in greater detail later. Now this steering block is where the robot is driving forward and depending on what color sensor hits the line, the robot is going to do uh, different things. Basically, if the right sensor senses the line, it is going to do whatever is in the true case, and if it does not, it is going to go to the false case and then check whether the left sensor senses the line or not. And since there is nothing in the false case of the loop, uh, like right here, the robot is continuously checking between these two. The general concept is that when one sensor finds the line, the other sensor is still going to be behind the line. Therefore, the opposite wheels need to drive forward depending on what sensor senses the line first. Okay, so now I'm going to walk you through how to create the program and teach you how it works. Step 1, we need a loop block. This is for when the robot drives towards the line and we need the robot to continue moving infinitely until it sees the line. So inside we'll put a steering wheel block and we'll set the power value to a relatively small number. I'll set it to 25 or actually 30. <laughs> now we need to fix the exit case here and make sure the robot actually stops when it does see the line. So I'm going to change the unlimited to color sensor or reflected light intensity. Um, for the port, we can change it to any of the two color sensors plugged in. For me, I'm just going to keep it on three and we need the compare type to remain less than. Now, for the threshold value, we need to change it to the same value that your color sensor, uh, I'm saying your color sensor because it varies color sensor to color sensor, what your color sensor showed for the value of black at the beginning of the video. For me, that was 20. So for my color sensor, any value less than 20 is going to be measured as black. Now, outside the loop, we're going to place a off for a steering wheel. So now, if it does see the line, it's going to stop. Now we need another loop where all of our actual line squaring program will take place. We need to change the exit case from unlimited to count. Now we can set the count to however many times we want this loop to repeat. I would recommend two because two will make it more accurate. Basically it will run the loop once, so it will square our robot once, and then it will do it a second time for more accuracy. Now we will need another loop block inside the loop block we just we just placed. Um, now we can set we're going to set the exit case here to color sensor reflected light intensity, and basically what this loop is going to be doing is it's going to be squaring the left motor. We're going to be doing each motor separately. So this time we need the color sensor to be the exact color sensor that's in front of the left motor on your robot. For me, that will be on port one. Now we're going to change the reflected light intensity uh, the compare type to greater than and for me 50 is the value that my color sensor on port 1 showed as the color white. Um, remember each color sensor is different so you might have to go back and figure out what uh, reflect light intensity your color sensor showed for the color white. Now uh, for inside this loop we're gonna place the motor block and set this to whatever uh, motor is on the left side of your robot. For me that's B. Now we're going to set this to on and set this to a relatively low speed, 25 works for me. Now at this point our robot has driven forward and has found the line. And now it has already squared, or it's in the process of squaring the left motor. So the left motor, after meeting with the line, it has now gone forward and now it's sensed the color white. Now we're going to take another motor block and set it outside and set it to off. Make sure it's the same motor that's on the left side. So now it's um, crossed over the line and seen the white, and it's, now it's stopped. Now we will need a motor rotation block. We will put this on the other side of our motor block and set this to reset. 
Also set this to the same respective motors on the left side of your robot. Now, after the motor rotation block, we will need another motor block and set this to the same motor on the left side. For now, we will set this to degrees and I'll explain why in a second. Set this to the same speed that was set in your loop, so but in reverse. So for me, that would be negative 25 because I set it for 25 here. And for this, set it for 45 degrees. This varies from robot to robot depending on how big your wheels are. So this may take some trial and error. But I already measured mine, it's 45 degrees. Basically what we're doing now is since the robot moved forward and found the white line, we now want it to move back and find the white line uh, on the other side of the black line. But if we go and like add that loop over here and make it scan, it's going to scan the same white line that the robot is currently sitting on. So this will make it move back and um, away from that white line on the black line. Since we are looking for the white line, but on the other side of the black line, we can just copy paste this loop, control C, control V, and move it to the other side here. But make sure you keep in mind that the power has to be inverted. So if I was going forward here, I am now going backward here. And keep the compare type and the threshold value the same, and the same color sensor and the same motor. Next, we will need another motor rotation block and we will set this to degrees and the same motor that we've been working with on the left side of the robot. Now we will be using a math block and we will set this math block to divide and set B to 2. I will explain why we're doing this in a second but take the output from the motor block and plug that into A and take another motor block, set this to degrees and Set the power to a relatively low power, I'll change that to 25 because I prefer that number, and plug in the result into the degrees. Basically what we are doing is we are taking the motor rotation after uh, the motor rotation that the motor is, like the value that the motor rotation is at uh, after these uh, after these two blocks, the loop and this block, and we are dividing that to, and that's how many degrees we are now going forward again. So now we have completed the entire line scoring process for just the left wheel. However, for the right wheel, this will be significantly easy as all we have to do is copy paste the code for the left wheel and paste it on the other side of the left wheel and this is our code for the right wheel. However, there is a very simple catch. We will now have to change our values for the motors to the motor on the left side. For me that's C and the color sensor that's also on the left side. For me that's 3. I will now go ahead and do that. This is the completed line scoring program. From here to here we have our left motor and from here to here we are scoring our right motor. Just keep in mind that since we have set, th set this to count, you can either increase the value to make the line squaring happen uh, more often for more accurate squaring, or you can decrease it to uh, a value uh, between 0 and 1 if you are in a shortage of time. Just remember that the higher that value is, the more times this program, this loop will uh, repeat and the more accurate your line squaring will be.